Here's to a life less routine. The more connected, athletic, seductive Lexus RX. Lease the 2013 RX350 for $399 a month for 36 months. With $35.49 due at signing. See your Lexus dealer. Live from the News Center, this is News Channel 8 Today. Good morning and welcome to News Channel 8 today. I'm Gil Guayardo. I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us. It's Wednesday, May 22nd. We are following breaking news right now out of Orlando. Let's go straight to Adrian Pedersen. Yeah, Rod, we're just getting details on this. FBI agents shot and killed an Orlando man who might have had ties to the Boston bombing. So here's what we know so far. Police got a call of gunshots fired at an Orlando condo complex. We don't know a lot of details, but at some point an FBI agent shot and killed the suspect. A man claiming to be the suspect's friend told a reporter that that man was being questioned by investigators about the Boston bombings. So again, we're just getting this information. Authorities have not confirmed it, but again, an FBI agent shot and killed an Orlando man who might have had ties to the Boston bombings. I'm staying on the story. I'll let you know if I get any more details. All right, okay. thanks. Well, first this morning, let's also go to Storm Team 8 meteorologist Lee Spann. She's in the forecast center. And good morning, guys. We're actually seeing some light patchy fog across the region. And now that the sun is coming up, we can show you that from our Legoland camera. You can see right at the top of the tree is kind of a haze there where it's 69 degrees. And that is, of course, in Winter Haven where the visibility is reduced to about a mile. So it's just a light haze. Same thing in eastern Hillsborough County, a little thicker fog as you head up into Citrus County. This morning, we're in the upper 60s to low 70s, which is about seasonal. By 9 a.m., 77 degrees will make it up to 83 at noon. Partly cloudy with afternoon highs close to 90 degrees. Our rain chance today is 30%, which is less than yesterday. And the good news is, I don't think the storms will be as strong this afternoon. But now let's check on the roadways this morning, Leslie. Thank you, Lee. Good morning, everyone. In the Palm Harbor area, folks, we've still got a collision working. It's actually southbound on US-19, and it's at Innisbrook. It's tying up the right lane, and we are now starting to see some delays approaching Innisbrook. We're down to about 24 miles per hour here southbound on US-19. Once you get past the accident, you are back up to speed. Keep this in mind. Leave the house a little bit early if you're coming through that Innisbrook area south. Let's move over now to the Sonona Sassa uh, area. We've got a collision here. This one's off to the shoulder. It's not tying up any lanes. Southbound US 301 at Ranch Road, and we're still looking pretty good, not seeing delays. Let's take a look at one of our cameras. This is a shot here of 275 at southbound at Beer. So you can see the fog looks a lot better. So that's some good news for commuters. And traffic is starting to get a little bit heavier on the southbound side as you move into downtown Tampa. That's a look at the roads. Back to Rod and Gail. In a developing story this morning, the massive tornado that hit Moore, Oklahoma, killed at least 24 people, including nine children. This is some new amateur video of the twister that devastated the region on Monday. This morning, overwhelmed by what is seemingly an endless path of destruction, the community struggles to come back, sorting through the debris, salvaging what they can. Many are also looking for answers underneath all of the rubble. Many victims of Monday's tornado are just trying to find the smallest possessions amid the absolute devastation. And it's incredible um, what Mother Nature is capable of, and, you know, and it's terrible at the same time knowing that so many lives were touched and affected. Um, it's, it's pretty intense. It's surreal. Can't believe that it used to be the house. Uh, it's gone. I mean, trying, just trying to get what we can, take care of family. But I mean, other than that, it's just a, it's just a total loss. Crews from around the country continue to pour into the area to help with the cleanup and recovery. And this morning, a team of Red Cross members from the Tampa Bay area are on their way to help with the devastation in Moore, Oklahoma. One local Red Cross aide saw that destruction the last time a tornado hit that community. Mary O'Gary and her husband were sent to Moore after another tornado hit back in 1999. She says it is hard to believe this storm hit the very same area. When I heard them say more Oklahoma on TV for this one, my heart just sank because I know what the devastation is looking like out there. And I know how these people are hurting. 
The Red Cross says the best way to help is to send a cash donation. And here's one way to do that. Just text the word Red Cross to 90999. That'll get you a $10 donation and rather quick to do that. Or you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS to make a donation over the phone. This morning, as Oklahomans continue to dig out from that deadly storm, people in Missouri are remembering another devastating tornado in Joplin. Two years ago, an EF5 tornado hit the town, killing more than 150 people. And today, there will be a moment of silence in that community to remember the victims at 541, the exact time that tornado touched down. Happening today, demolition begins on two Sefner homes that surround a now empty lot where a sinkhole swallowed a man alive back in March. That home is gone. Now county officials say it's time to tear down the two other houses which are still sitting on unstable ground. News Channel 8's Melissa Beckman is live on Faithway Drive with the very latest. Good morning, Melissa. Well, good morning, Gail. It's a familiar and eerie sight here in Sefner. In just a little bit here, crews are set to begin demolishing this home right here behind me. And once they're finished, they'll begin work tearing down a second home. And by the time this job is done, a total of three houses right in a row here on Faithway Drive will be history. Last time a large backhoe came to Faithway Drive, a family home filled with four decades of memories came down. Heavy equipment is back, and this time two houses are destined for demolition. Janelle Wheeler was home March 1st when the first sign of trouble struck this neighborhood without warning. It sounded like a car or truck hit the house, and the house never moved. The sinkhole swallowed Wheeler's family friend Jeff Bush as he sat in bed. His body is still buried somewhere beneath the earth. This is what the actual sinkhole looks like. It's wide, deep, and still unstable, according to engineers, even though it's since been filled, which has still unsettled neighbors for months. They're so close. I don't know what's going on over here. The county condemned the houses on both sides of the sinkhole back in March. The families who lived there were given just half an hour to take what they could. Now their insurance claims are settled and the places they used to call home are coming down. And the workout here is scheduled to begin in just about a half hour. Crews have already started arriving and a stretch of the road here on Faithway Drive has already been closed to traffic and we're told it will probably stay closed through Friday when the work here is complete. Gail. All right, thanks, Melissa. Well, the county hired a private demolition company to tear down the homes. Hillsborough County Code Enforcement will oversee the work. Happening today, a Polk County High School student accused of setting off a bomb at school will speak to the media. Kiera Wilmot is scheduled to hold a news conference today. Now, last month, a 16-year-old Bartow High School student was accused of mixing household chemicals and aluminum foil in a plastic bottle and then setting off a small explosion. Wilmot claimed she was only trying out a science experiment. The state attorney decided not to file any charges against her. Now to a developing story this morning. Police are looking for a gunman who fired shots at a car in a fit of road rage. Now, this all played out in front of the La Casa Mobile Home Park just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. A gunman in one car fired a shotgun into the other, injuring that driver and a passenger. Both are expected to recover. This was in Northport. After begging a jury to let her live, Jody Arias told the Associated Press that she didn't get a fair trial. She said her lawyers should have called more witnesses to support her claims that her boyfriend abused her. Arias also spoke to NBC. She says she wants to bring awareness to domestic violence. She also voiced regrets about what happened to her boyfriend. I don't believe that Travis deserved to die. Um, I don't recall. I do have memory gaps and I wish that I could take back everything that happened. I never believed they She compared the murder of Travis Alexander to bring a quarterback in a football game suggesting that you sometimes make the wrong decision and it cost you the game. Jury deliberations over the sentencing of Jody Arias continue today. New this morning, it's official. Disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner is seeking public office again, this time for mayor of New York City. Look, I made some big mistakes, and I know I let a lot of people down. But I've also learned some tough lessons. I'm running for mayor because I've been fighting for the middle class and those struggling to make it my entire life. And I hope I get a second chance to work for you.
New York City should be the He announced his candidacy Congress early this morning in a video on his campaign website. Wiener right resigned, resigned from Congress nearly two years ago after a sexting scandal involving Twitter photos. I will fight for you. Your chance to win an Apple iPad mini coming up. And a South Florida man and his friends got more than they bargained for in the Everglades. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that what? Coming up, how they caught and killed the longest Burmese python ever captured in Florida. And happening today, a Tampa pool is getting an upgrade. That story is coming up at 644. The pool would be a nice place to cool off this afternoon, although we just checked in with our weather watchers, Louie and Tula, out on Pass the Grill, and they say it's 74 degrees. Our afternoon high is 87. We do expect scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop today, but I don't think they're going to be as strong as the past couple of days. And then those rain chances go down. I'll tell you how low they get coming up at 640, and you're watching News Channel 8 today. WFLA.com traffic is brought to you by Hyundai's Say Yes event. At Tampa Honda Land, you'll get Honda quality backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. Plus, now through Wednesday, you can drive away in the all-new Accord for as low as $169 a month. Come see us, call us, or visit us online at HondaLand.com. People don't realize it, but my 